So I'm here with artist Nikki Watts, and uh, I'm here helping with the installation of her project. Um, and what's the name of the project again? It's it, the project name is Wear Recycle. This is, this specific exhibition is Nice Never Last. It's part of the Wear Recycle Poster Show series. It's the second out of seven that'll happen in the U.S. Okay, so explain for for my readers into the world uh, the significance of Nice Never Last. Um, nice Never Last. The concept actually came from. It's really funny. Um, one of my past hosts kept doing my dishes. And I was like tweaking me out because I'm like, you know, he's going to keep doing my dishes and he's going to want me to do his dishes and I'm not doing his dishes. Like, no, I'm not going to do it. And this is what was going on in my head when the nice never last popped into my brain. And so what that actually is and what the significance of that is, that is that wear recycle stands for the wearing down of recycled behavior patterns. So that was like a, a click that nice never last was some way that I was acting towards nice people and just not trusting them at all. Okay, so let's explain recycled behavior patterns just uh, briefly to, to everyone because that, I mean, that's a concept which you explained to me before which I find very intriguing, um, but maybe not everybody knows what you're talking about. So, so what, what, what does that mean to you? That's like, so we all grow up with the ways that we are, the patterns that we demonstrate throughout our life. And some of those patterns are really healthy, and some of those patterns are really negative. Okay. And so what I'm doing, what my outlet is to work on the patterns I don't really like is through collaborative art. It forces me to recognize them, it forces me to to publicly announce them, announce that I don't like them, and then it gives me an opportunity to have meditative time since I meditate with an art making to deal with whether I want to keep that pattern. Interesting. And so where Recycle is starting to teach people how to find their own outlets, but collaborative art is mine. Cool. And this I mean one last question. So since you've been, you know, exploring all this in the context of art, does that help you identify where the patterns come from, where the, the recycled patterns come from in your life? Do you recognize you know where they're handed down from and does that help you shift the patterns if uh, if you decide to do that absolutely yeah like so I'm, I'm going through I'm making artwork that's identifying where it came from how many like where I could see that it affected me in my life so I'll, I won't just look back at childhood but I'm looking at my younger adult life my teenage life and seeing where the patterns have continued throughout life and then I'm deciding through working on the artwork and giving myself a safe place to get that out and to explore that, I'm deciding if I want that pattern or not. Awesome. Yeah, it's very similar to my spiritual practice, so it's interesting. I mean, I explore that both in art and in, in meditation as well. So it's interesting to talk to you. I'm really excited to be part of the project, and it was seems to have been a smashing success, as ephemeral as it may be. And um, I think we got the message across. And, uh, and thanks, guys. Um, We'll see you again soon.